At CES, we're showcasing the Energica fully electric superbike, as well as some of our 3D printing materials and some of the parts that we have made within the last couple of years. Well, we utilize a laser sintering process. Um, most of the guys here are doing like a filament uh, based kind of stuff like MakerBot, and we actually use an industrial grade 3D printer. But mainly what sets us aside is our materials. They've been tried and tested, and they are actually workable prototypes that can race on the cars themselves. Our uh, materials have all passed NASA's outgas testing, as well as the European Space Agency's outgas testing. Uh, we have some sample parts on display that is a cube satellite card cage, as well as a 3D printed solid fuel rocket engine. A lot of people are enamored with the fact that you can have a 3D printer on your desktop at home, but there's not really any functional aspect of those parts other than test fitting or for fun. So the advanced materials such as the Windform materials that we run, I believe are paving the way for 3D printing to be taken seriously in industrial applications. The uh, prototype of the bike was 3D printed using Windform family of materials. There's actually 3D printed parts out of Windform on the bike itself. Uh, there's the headlight shrouds, the fairing straight, as well as uh, the seat is all 3D printed. They are 3D printed parts that are used on the production bike. Windform XC 2.0 and Windform LX have both been exposed to vacuum ultraviolet testing and the erosion is negligible. This is very important for uh, UAV as well as aerospace applications. 